Sinkhole setback. Nearly a dozen communities are being asked to chip in tonight to help keep raw sewage out of the Clinton River. Glad you're with us tonight at 11. Macomb County taking action tonight to avoid what it fears could be an environmental disaster. 11 communities are being asked to restrict water usage from shorter showers to less laundry, anything just to keep things flowing through a sewer line in Frazier. We bring in Jermont Terry, who's live in Frazier tonight, where that work continues. Jermont. Yes, Devin, as crews continue to work on the sinkhole behind me tonight, county leaders are relying and hoping on Mother Nature, not to mention the residents here in Macomb County to keep the Clinton River clean. After four weeks of digging and surveying beneath the surface in Frazier, there's a new problem around the sinkhole. It's become a dire situation. Take a look. This image captured just 10 days ago shows limited water flowing through the sewer interceptor. At this point in time, it is almost completely full. And this image reveals the small passage is completely blocked due to shifting sediments in the ground. So if it rains, the raw sewage will head right towards the Clinton River. We are ready to try to disinfect. If we have to dump raw sewage into the river, we do not want to do that. And if people can just work with us a bit with restricting their water usage. At the Serenity Animal Hospital in Sterling Heights, close to 80 animals come to the doors daily, and even more are housed here. It's going to be difficult to limit water. But that's what business owners and people living in 11 Macomb County communities are ordered to do. Reduce and limit water usage indefinitely. The grooming and cleaning of animals and basic disinfecting at the hospital poses limitations. We have to keep the disease level down. So, you know, we have to clean and we will do what we need to do. Um, and we can work within whatever parameters, I hope. There are two places the sewage will go inside homes or the river. I implore upon you, do everything you can to help with this water conservation. So again, tonight they are watching the forecast, hoping and praying that it does not rain. In the meantime, they are also working to build a bypass pipe to essentially fix what had collapsed today. But unfortunately, that will take another three to four weeks. Reporting live in Frazier tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4.